evacuees are arriving in Alabama for a safe oasis from the storm, including the Hoover Metropolitan Complex. ABC 3340's Megan Scarano joins us from there now. And Megan, you spoke with Florida residents who left to stay safe from the storm. Muriel, up and down the row of RVs here, you'll find Florida license plates, many seeking shelter from Hurricane Milton's path. One woman telling me getting out of town and finding a place to stay wasn't easy. It was one of those very quick uh, uh, decisions. My, I had taken my mother to a, a doctor appointment and called my husband and said, well, I'm on my way home. He said, get home, we're leaving. I'm, and I'm trying to, I'm going, leaving, leaving where, you know. He said, we need to get out of Dodge. In a fast turn of events, Diane Booth and her family left their home in Lakeland, Florida on Monday afternoon to find a safe place to stay until Hurricane Milton passes through. On the way, hitting bumper to bumper traffic of families doing the exact same. Uh, normally from our house in Lakeland to Gainesville is a two and a half, three hour drive. Took seven and a half hours to get there. We were literally 20 to 30 miles an hour. Booth tells me their first plan wasn't to evacuate to Alabama, but their normal camping sites weren't an option. Our initial plans were just to get out of Florida and to be in, you know, Georgia. We tried everything North Florida, Georgia, anything that the RV sites and, and campgrounds that we've stayed at previously, everything was full, everything was booked. The plus side for Booth, she has family in the area and she has stayed at the Met before. Same for Dan Wittes. This is his second time evacuating from a hurricane to Hoover. It was just more the direct eye of the, the hurricane coming through. And just that's not a place I wanted to be. This is his full time home. He rode out a hurricane once with it. That experience being enough to get as far away from a storm as possible. We couldn't sleep all night. Anytime wind noise, the RV rocked a little bit. Didn't matter if it was us rocking it or or outside. You're worried about tornadoes. So we had both, my wife and I, made a choice to never do that again. Dan Wittes says that he will return home once he sees the kind of damage that Milton leaves behind. The Hoover Met is offering spaces for free for Florida evacuees. Live in Hoover, Megan Scarano, ABC 3340 News.